Okay. Applause transforms. How do you do this? The definition of a Laplace transform is can I do this from memory? E negative S T F T D e, T Let me stare at this for a bit and memorize it. Okay. I'm gonna do some practice problems. Notice you. Hey, Riff, dude. What am I doing? Math problems. I realize I get bored easily when I do math homework alone. So I think if I stream it, I'll hold myself accountable more to like actually do the work instead of procrastinating. <laughs> okay. Little plastrous form of So that equals How do I do this? Integration by parts? I always have to stare at it for a while to understand how I'm sp supposed to do it with integration by parts. Uh... Dude, you're so vulgar. Please don't be like that in my chat. It's against the rules. Uh huh. How am I supposed to do this? What do I set as you? T? I always have this sinking feeling that I'm doing it wrong, but let's just see how this goes. Okay, wait. So it's 
UV minus integral of Oh, I guess CP factor off the negative sign. One over S. T negative S T T T. Okay, what's the integral of wait? It's a definite. Oh, what did I do here? Okay. Okay, now I need to examine this. Wait, that term is zero. so complicated. I feel like I'm doing this wrong somewhere. Did I mess up? Okay, as n approaches infinity, because of the e negative n's, that's just um... That makes it approach zero. So 
So like, this is zero, this is zero, and then it's just one over a square. Is that right? I haven't done limits in a long time. What about you guys? I'm doing differential equations. Hey, you guys like math too, right? When's the exam? It's an online exam, so I either have to schedule it for tonight or tomorrow morning, and I don't really know how to do anything. <laughs> I'm always winging everything at the last minute. I've got a problem. Procrastination problem. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Laplace transform of p squared. this time am I going to, am I going to have to do integration by parts twice oh my gosh this sucks I don't want to do this anymore Is this going to be a new series for the channel? God, I hope not. My math classes should be over by next week. After that, I guess I could shoot myself coding some stuff. For Puyo. Okay, focus. UV minus... Solve this one. Okay, so u equals. Well, I already solved this up here, so I'm going to cheat. <laughs> Wait, did I solve this up here? No, I took a shortcut. Wait. 
Warrior series? What? What's that? What do they do, actually? <laughs> I'm actually not really feeling that good today. Like, I just feel really off. I'm tired. Like, I look at the computer screen and it just feels like I'm looking at, like, through a haze. I just can't concentrate properly. But I know I have to do this. I understand why people just look up the Laplace transforms in the table because this is so much work trying to do it like from scratch. I actually have no idea how I'm going to be tested on this because it's so time consuming. Does anyone actually do it this way ever? Surely not, right? I'm not even sure if, I'm, if it's worth me practicing this. See how this is about to play out.
Okay, if t is zero, that's just zero. The second term is also zero. But then the final term is one over s cubed. But then the other ones, those all just approach zero, don't they? So then in the end, it's just one over s cubed. <laughs> It's funny how such a gigantic, ridiculous-looking problem simplifies to something really simple. Wait a second, 2 over s cubed? Did I miss something somewhere? That's, the answer is 2 over s cubed, so I missed one number somewhere. But where? Where did I miss the extra? Up here, it was 2TDT. <laughs> I see how that basically changes everything. Screw it, I'm not doing that over again. <laughs> oh my god. I hate it when like things at the very beginning destroy everything else later on. That's the worst thing about math. One little mistake, and the whole 30 minutes of work comes crashing down. I need to be more careful. Okay, this is limit of n. this again. How do we do this integration? Right? Forgot. Integration by substitution, right? What was the method again? I shouldn't be forgetting something so basic.
home. Oh, I see. Okay. Orinami, smile. Oh, I'm sorry if this is your first stream that you catch. Um, I don't think it's very exciting. I think when the limit approaches infinity, uh, this one goes to zero, right? So then you're left with. Check. Oh wait, it's supposed to be S minus six. That's fun. I didn't distribute the minus sign right. Oh my god. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, I know it's this step right here, right?
Okay, let me just do this properly. I didn't distribute the negative sign correctly. being dumb. Oh no, I'm so bad. Yeah, that's... Okay, it's 1 over S minus... I'm so bad at math! Oh well, there's only one way to get better and that's to keep trying. I'll never give up. I don't know why I was so bad at that. This looks like a huge hassle. In the end, you just use a table for this, don't you? Maybe this will be the last one I do. Then I'll skip to the chap- Then I'll just try to solve everything with the table. Well, I don't have the table memorized, so... Oh, 
getting text messages from my family, but... Sorry, math comes first. Okay, now let's see. So the end parts, those will just go to zero when the limit occurs. So really, I just have to worry about. It's not like I'll be doing this for real in the past, right? I'll be using the table. Here I'll just become one. Then I just have plus three there. Then when you take the limit, this is zero. That's zero. Is this right? At some point I messed up. It's supposed to be S minus three.
Are you saying they're equivalent? Oh. I can't see these things very quickly. Yeah, 1 over S minus 3 squared. What's up? I see, because... Okay, I'll just solve the rest of the table now. Or actually first, before I start cheating with the table, I need to like actually memorize the table. Let me write that down a couple times. So wait, the plus transform of 1 equals 1 over s. The AT that's one over S minus A. Okay, and then the plus transform of T to the end. n factorial over s n plus 1 sine et that's S squared plus B squared. The Laplace transform of cosine. That's S squared or S over S squared plus B squared. Oh god, why is this happening? Plus transform EAT again. That's pretty similar in form to the other one, but it combines S minus A and the power. Oh, I see. I can cut down on the memorization if I see that the E to the whatever always introduces like the S minus A component. So then, let me see if I can do this without looking at the table. E to the AT sign. ET. That's E over S minus A squared. Alright. Or, oh no no no, that's not squared, that's just us. 
That's minus a there plus b squared. Okay. So really, I need to memorize this one. T to the n, n factorial over s to the n plus 1, sine and cosine. Okay. Alright, okay, let's do some problems. Wait, including the one on the top of the fraction? Aw, oh, goddamn. <laughs> You know, I remember playing Dragon Quest Monsters 2 when I was a kid, and I was so shook when they said the B word on the final boss. I was like, wow, no wonder why this is B rated 10 plus. Oh wait, I'm getting distracted. Okay. Cosine T T. So if I remember correctly, that is equivalent. That. That's over a square to b square. So this is f over a square plus b square four. I'm looking at like the the solution for this and there's like a huge wall of like integrating and stuff and then the table lets you do it in one go. Oh my god. I hope when it comes to test time I don't like randomly forget the table. Alright, let's do this one. T two T cosine three T that's S minus A over S minus A squared. Okay. So then Solution to this one is S minus 2 over S minus 2 squared plus 9. <laughs> the table is so much faster. <laughs> Who would have thought? Sorry, um, 
computer is acting funny. My computer froze. What is going on? Yeah, something's, something's off. Sorry, I need to restart my computer real quick. It's just, I'm, I don't know how to fix this right now. Okay, what do I do for like the next two seconds? Then take the real and imaginary parts. Okay, one second. Well, I think the chapter on doing the little plus transform. So this is... D, D over... This table really revolutionized my life. Uh, all those integrations was a lot of work, and you're so prone to like screwing up. You ask more questions to prove stuff on the table than actually use them. Well, okay, it depends. Some math classes at certain universities, some lead more towards theory, and some lead more towards applied. And some are just like bags and they lean towards everything. The, the university I'm taking this online with, they lean more towards applied, so I'm pretty sure they won't go crazy on asking us to do like the proofs. They just expect you to poop out the answer. Which I'm kind of glad about. I suck at proofs. Like, I hate math theory. I just want to get stuff done, get it over with. Like, I had one professor, and they were just like so into math, and I'm just like, I don't care! Give me my A. I got like an A minus in that class, I was kind of bitter. Multivariable was a lot easier in hindsight, but I was just too lazy to study properly. Wait, what was I doing? 
Oh wait, this is weird. What? A piecewise function. How do you do this? How do you do the little cross transform of this? Do you just do it on each part? Mm, that's weird. I don't understand. Let me look in the book. Oh, you have to integrate over each region. So like from zero to two. And then two to infinity. Oh. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Don't make me do that. How, how do I do this with the table? Is there a way? I don't think there's an easy way to do this unless I do it the... Okay, let me check if this is actually one of the suggested problems for my professor, because if it's not, I'm skipping it. Like, who cares? Maybe they won't care if I can do the piecewise one or not. Oh! Okay. I'm skipping it. Maybe I'll do that if I have time, but I, there's a lot more I need to cram, so... Table again, one more time. One over S, S minus A, S N plus one. Okay. Last transform of. Alright, since you can the class transforms work linearly, you can just take each part of this and do a separate energy. So B is gonna be that negative negative root T. That's six over S plus three. Minus N factorial. That's N factorial over S to the N plus one. This is it. Oh, 
Alrighty, okay. Oh, I put a T! Why? Okay, it's right. <laughs> uh, so many ways to get points off. I actually got a 95 on the last differential equations exam. I don't know if it's just because, like, the university I'm taking it out online with is just, like, super easy and they don't really care, or... I'm actually kind of decent at math. I'd rather be filled with self-doubt instead of confidence and happy feelings. Okay, so 5 over S minus...
Okay. Where was I? Okay, T Q or minus T E T plus four E four T plus I T. Okay, T cube, so that's three times two times one. That's six. So four minus okay T E T. That's n factorial over s minus a to the n plus one. So one over s minus one squared. S minus 4 over S minus 4 squared plus B equal 1. Okay. I can never draw. I look at the curvy L in the book, and mine just does not look as good. And it makes me feel like I'm bad at drawing. I don't know why I feel ashamed about this. Like, I just have like really random insecurities, and then I just like take a step back, and I'm just like, you're a complete idiot. Stop messing around. <laughs> like sometimes I get like inordinately fixated on like drawing my because you know how books always have the fancy X's and stuff and us. But then I try to do that when I write too, and then it doesn't look as good, and I'm just like but I know that's irrelevant to like actually solving the problem. It's just me being like distracted. Oh, I'm distracted right now. Okay, wait, how do I solve this? 2 over s cubed minus. Uh, what the heck is this song? I don't know. sure what okay all right what was t again n factorial over h3 a squared okay so this would be two times Cool, it's correct. <laughs> just like Greek letters, he just gave up on drawing and would just make a scribble instead. <laughs> Same. When I actually get serious, I just like don't care anymore and just like. <laughs> I don't make brackets look like crap too, but. <laughs> I just can't care about that right now. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so this is six over plus minus three squared over what's six squared? Thirty six minus six over plus two four. Oh, what's Okay, I'm back. I had to answer a phone call. Alrighty, next one. The next section, I think, is trying to do the inverse Laplace transforms, and those like blow my mind. I don't know how I'm going to manage them, but I guess we'll get to them. God, my bracket looks like crap. Well, um, wait. Okay, t to the four. What's four factorial? 4 times 3, 12 times 2, 24. d e to the 5 minus. Oh wait, s to the 5. Gosh, I keep doing that. Square root of 2 over s squared plus 2. Do -do -do. Memorizing that table wasn't so bad. Seems like I got it down. I'm always intimidated by the prospect of memorizing a ton of things, but then somehow I manage it sometimes. I don't know. It's just me trying really hard all the time. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, this is. Wait, n factorial over s minus a and s one, right? So 
4 factorial, I just thought that to be 24, right? 24 over s minus 5 to the 5. So this is cosine, I have to do s minus 1 over minus 1 squared plus 7. Alrighty. You know, this isn't actually so bad. I feel like there's something wrong with like Western society where we like hype up math as like this really hard thing. But sometimes it's pretty procedural. I mean, I know there's some things that take some creativity like solving integrals with trig identities, but most of the time it can be straightforward. You just have to be careful not about like not messing up your signs and stuff in basic algebra. Okay, let's see. This is s plus 2 over s plus 2 squared plus 3 minus s 2 over s plus 2. An edutainment version of Puyo. <laughs> How do you set up chains? Um, well, there's something called the chain rule where you take the derivative of, like, dude, I don't, I don't even know. Just do it. Wow, I think that describes a lot about Puyo. <laughs> Wait. Hey, that's too depressing to think about. If determine whether the function is continuous, piecewise continuous, or neither on 0 to 10, then sketch the graph of... what? Oh, graphing. I hate this. I don't even know where to begin answering this, pro answering this problem. Determine whether it's continuous, piecewise continuous, or neither on 0 to 10. Sketch the graph. I mean, okay, well... I mean, it jumps at t equals 1, doesn't it? Because for the second one... One more, like negative one. Wait a point. Oh, uh, it's just continuous. I guess. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs>
Oh, ow. I think playing Celeste music to math is very fitting. Overcoming your inner demons, aka math. <laughs> Oh, well, I think this is piecewise continuous, right? Because at t equals 2, it just jumps up to 2 from 0. Understand what this has to do with the flash transforms. Actually, I do understand, but I kind of want to skip these problems. But I know they're very important, probably. <laughs> The second one, when t equals one, it jumps down to zero. Wait, this is like Draw a straight line, I'm that lazy. Piecewise continuous. How? Hmm. 
God, I don't understand these definitions. Wise, except for a few isolator points. <laughs> you know what? If it appears on the test, I'm just gonna write down something and it's like, what is the chance of getting it right? Right? Whatever. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> I don't have time to like truly understand this right now. Well, I mean, I know it's like the limit approaches infinity at a certain point, and like, that's, that's not definitely not the swipe continuous either, but. Okay. Next chapter. Properties of the Laplace transform. Derivatives of the Laplace transform. On the Laplace transform of... This is just more table stuff, isn't it? Hmm. Well, whatever. Okay. I'm okay with that. More practice. 2 over s cubed plus... S minus one square plus four. <laughs> you know, this is kind of like learning derivatives for the first time all over again. This is like once you get the table down, it just becomes like that grind. <laughs> you just like mindlessly do them. I guess that's a good thing though. Know? It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay.
I saw earlier the T to the 4, that's 25, 24 over, what's 3 times 24? You know what, I don't care, I'm just gonna write. I hate wasting time on algebra. <laughs> like T sine T. <laughs> okay, well, you're supposed to use a property that... Oh. I'm about to get to it. Don't you worry. <laughs> uh, I think the easy ones came first. And then, like, you actually have to use, like, this other table with, like, properties of, like, Nested the Boston forms or something like that. I don't know. property do I use? Expand it? Surely there's a simpler way, right? Oh, I'm looking partially at someone's solution. They just expanded it. Well... 
Okay. Time to remember to the triangle. Pastel's triangle. What is it? How to use this? Wait. Wait. Hey, um. I don't even know. Okay, then I have to solve it one by one, right? Okay, three factorial, that's six, times four, one four over S four. What is this? Let's expand this one out too. Okay, well, oil first. Wow. 
Austin transform of this is one over us. Okay, I think here comes the curveball. I don't know where to start with this one. How do you do this? Okay, I'm looking at the table. Uh, the special rule that my book probably says, I'm looking at it now and it says, the Laplace transform of T to the N F of T equals Negative one and DN DSN So I guess I do that part first. But then there's also another rule that says Oh wait, this is just a rule saying I replace the S's with S minus A's Okay, yeah so... If I do like the last two parts first, then I can substitute in the S minus A, right? Negative one to the end. So wait, T sine two T equals negative one to the one D D S. The Laplace transform of. The derivative of this again. You can write this as
the derivative of that is... I don't know, why am I not doing the chain roll like crappily? Like, to you... Am I bad at this? automatic for me, huh? I don't know why I did it the long way. I Visually, I can see what I could have done, but I just wanted to try out the train rule and do it properly for once. to the other rules, we substitute in S minus A, so then Plus one over s plus one square plus four all square. <laughs> Somehow I feel like I went wrong somewhere. <laughs> oh wait, it's correct though. <laughs> So this is the one I need to remember here, huh? Negative one 
to the end. To the end derivative. Okay. Wow, that was an experience. What is this? I'm doing differential equations. Laplace transforms. Keep going. Oh no, not again. T E two T cosine five T. So the first rule was I like to do the E the E ones last, so let's just write it like this. So the Laplace transform of e two t t cosine five t equals the Laplace transform of. Sine five t substituting in s minus a the Laplace transform of t cosine five t equals negative one to the one. equals uh, 5 sine 5t five wait wait I have to do what am I doing right sorry I have to do the double plus transform first and then take the derivative sorry I'm like losing my mind here <laughs> Okay, wait, wait a second. This is S over Do the T part after. Oh, I don't really even know. Whatever. I'm just. Gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> I mean, you say... You mean do like this first?
right? Do that first. But then you would have... Is that what you're saying? Do that. Differentiate with the quotient rule. Oh no. Quotient rule. What was it again? Uh, the bottom part times the derivative of the top which is just one minus the top part times the derivative of the bottom Sorry, be right, be right back. I need to do something. Okay, I'm back. Okay, derivative minus so all of this is over the bottom part squared. Wow. I don't want to do all this algebra. I'm so tired of this. I want to quit. second. You know what, technically, writing it this way is still correct, just not like simplified, right? So, 
I feel like I would still get points for this, right? I just... I just don't wanna... Do it. <laughs> Okay, whatever. I quit. <laughs> Next one. What are these? Trig identities? No. They can't make me do this. What's Coast H? What is that? I do not remember this at all. Oh no, oh, screw this. I don't care. Being at all. Oh, this one's interesting though. Cosine 3, cosine t to the cubed. You would write this as cosine t, well, cosine, but So that's actually us. Oh, was well, that more complicated? <laughs> I don't even know. you do this actually because then you still have okay so I know that like, the first part becomes just this but then you still have this ridiculous thing how do you find a little plus transform of this Double angle formula, what the heck is that? <laughs> Sine A cosine. Wait, 2 sine T cosine T equals sine 2A. Oh, I guess. 
Wait. What? Power formula. Change a sine squared to a cosine 2t. What? Trigonometric expansion. What is this? Okay, I have no clue what you guys are really saying, honestly. So I'm just gonna like trigonometric. Hey, Wolf from Alpha, don't let me down. <laughs> How do you do this? I don't really remember learning this actually. Trigonometric power formulas. Oh, is this something you just straight memorize? Cosine three to the x, cosine cubed x is, yeah, one fourth time. <laughs> Trigonometric. <sighs> wow. It felt like a slap in the face. Like, I wanted to be so cool and, like, figure it out. But then, like, I don't think it was going to happen. You know what? If I get tested on this, I'll just get it wrong. I don't care. There's more important things to do. There's a way to kind of work it out. How would I do that?
If I know the formula for cosine A plus B... Then the answer will magically appear, but it's ridiculous. Well, I remember in the last test, I think we had to use one identity, but... The, my professor put, hint, use this. So I'm pretty sure that if it appears, I'll get a hint about it, so... I'm gonna give her upper. Oh, there's more. Ow. Thank you for following. This one's weird. Why is it written out in words? Given that cosine B T S equals S over S squared plus B squared. Use the translation property to compute translation property. Was that something I was like doing without really understanding it? Because I was just going by the table. So I'm like supposed to show my work for this, right? I mean, that's just straight up. But I don't actually know how to prove it. <laughs> what is the translation property? That's just... Oh, but that's just literally it. I'm not really sure what this is expecting me to do besides just table it all. Okay, that was a weird problem. How do I take the derivative of this again? Don't tell me I have to do the quotient rule. Oh god.
Okay, so then the answer to this is... up somewhere. Oh no, this is right. I just didn't simplify it. The book says... Er. Yeah, that's right. That's just positive one. So really I need to solve. Already know the first derivative. I just solved it, right? That's <laughs> doing the quotient rule on this. It just makes me want to cry. I think I kind of want to give up. Surely, surely. My professor wants to do something as ridiculous as this. I just can't. Like, the tests are only two hours and thirty. Actually, two hours and thirty minutes is a long time. But I still don't think they would do something ridiculous like this, where it's just like tons of like algebra you can screw up on. You know what? I'm just gonna skip it. <sighs> okay, whatever. Okay, inverse Laplace transforms. Actually, I need a break real quick. I need to pee.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, pretty much, if like, I, if I got this problem on a test, I think I would like stop at that part and just like accept partial credit. Or at least like, get to this point on the problem where I have most of it done. And then just work on the rest of the test. Because like, I feel like you hit diminishing returns on like how many points you gain versus like the risk. Cause like, you could just end up doing all the algebra wrong and then like, you don't really get any more points for all your effort when you could have been working on the rest of the tests. So, yeah, screw that. Whatever. Okay, inverse Laplace transforms. Yada 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 yada. Oh, but method of partial fractions. I'm not good at doing this. Alright, well, gotta start at the beginning. So. Okay, 6 over... Well, this kind of looks like... I don't know, I'm kind of just like feeling the answer, but I feel like there's supposed to be a way to piece this together properly, but it, I'm pretty sure that's... That, right? <laughs> wait, 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 no, it's positive T, right? Just kidding. Sorry, I should be writing it out like this. Okay, inverse Laplace transform of S plus one S squared. Plus two s plus ten. Oh god, what is this even? Where do I even begin? Oh wait, I see. You can do complete the square on the bottom. So. That's 
that square plus one plus nine. Why are we doing math? Why not? <laughs> this is useful math for every part of your life. You use it every day. how you write it. <laughs> okay. So, if you remember the table, this is cosine... Well, since there's that plus one, that's an e to the negative t cosine... That's three squared. 3, 2, alright. <laughs> Honestly, I hate this, but I would take doing inverse Laplace transforms over like trig stuff any day. Trig stuff is what I was the worst at because it's just never creative enough to get the right answer with the identities. And also, first of all, I was too lazy to memorize the identities, so I just figured out couples wrong all the time when I took to lower level calculus. Okay. Can rewrite this as hmm. so this be four times? How do you- where does that 4 come from? You know what we can do? Multiply it by 3 over 3. That way, you can just like swap it out like this, right? Then you can do this properly. Gosh, this is the worst. Plus 
So this is of the form like P negative two T sine two T but then to do that you would need a two at the top. How do we get the two? Like that. Because you would like multiply this by two over two and then use like the commutative property of multiplication or something to put that in the right form. Okay. You haven't seen Puyo vids in a long time. Sorry. It's just, I've realized that I need to get my priorities in order. Gotta get my IRL career done before I can really work on Puyo stuff. And Puyo stuff is at a standstill anyways right now because like there isn't a whole lot we can do until Sega releases a new game because Puyo Tetris is just eh right now. I'm hoping something will get announced at the Tokyo Game Show in September. So hold your hopes two months from now. Maybe something will happen. Uh, what is this one? Strange. Is this? Hmm. How do I do this? 2S. Should, like, should I like expand that out and try to deal with it somehow? Um. Oh. Okay. Let's just factor out the three eighths. And then this looks like it's of this form, right? So if that's a three. Then it was t to the 2 that was Laplace transformed and that results in 2 over well it would be e to the negative 5 halves t times t to the 2 but then I need to get the right fraction I guess.
What? Oh. I gave up on medical school. I'm just gonna go for like a biostatistics program. Oh, I did this right! <laughs> yes! Posture is form of plus four S thirteen. Oh wait. Okay. Um. Uh, why does this have to be so annoying? Are you going to school for something? I, I can't, I don't remember. If I factor out the two, then this has to be eight. top part to be s plus two how do i even handle this I actually have no idea what to do. What do I do about the S plus 8 on the top? Oh, I have an idea. Can you just like separate it? You can do two different ones. So you do... The Laplace transform of S over... Do I have to use that stupid, like, method of partial fractions thing here? Oh, 
Oh wait! S plus two plus six. <laughs> Can you do it like that? I'm a problem solver. I think Ringo says that once in the story mode. How do I get this to... Well, I know what this part is. This will be two times... T e to the negative 2t times... Cosine 3t... Plus... in the right form. I feel like a champ. <laughs> Don't know how I did that. S to the five. So like that was T to the four normally. Which was what? Four factorial, four, three, twenty-four, right? So that's one twenty-four. Okay. I should just become a pro Puyo player and make what? Two dollars? Money matching people every month? <laughs> That's it. You can only buy like one cup ramen with that. factor out the two. So this s squared plus minus two s plus five.
Actually, did I separate this wrong? I should think about this more. Wait, let me take a couple steps back. Split that five to make Cool. Salt and water is enough to survive if I have passion. Um, but that's zero calories. That's physically impossible. And also, don't talk about low calorie diets with me. <laughs> I'm like starving lately. I'm kind of losing a lot of weight because I don't eat properly. I've been eating ramen for like the past three weeks now. Okay, this is the these are getting on my nerves. Okay, I need to practice partial fraction expansions. 
Oh, fudge. And then I have to pack, meet up, and play Puyo with Oz at our local. Are they even going? Let me try. Oh, I need a map. Okay, maybe I'll end the stream now. I'll do some more practice on my own. Thank you for helping me, guys. It's easier to tuck out my map together. Uh... <sighs> okay. And uh, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, I guess. I'm not really sure if I help people with these streams. Like, how many people that follow me actually care about calculus? Really? Oh well. See you guys next time.